Hello everyone, Ashlyn Keeps a YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about April Fools. Um, so everybody knows um, here in the US we celebrate April Fools on April 1st. So I'm going to read a little bit about um, April Fools. April Fools is once a year each year on April 1st. Um, it's, it's celebrated April 1st in sev for several centuries, um, and it includes playing hoax or practical jokes on others, often yelling April Fools after um, they trick somebody. April Fools dates back to 1582 when um, France switched from the Julian calendar to the Georgian calendar as called for by the Council of Trent. 1560s and the Julian calendar as a Hindu calendar the new year began with its spring equinox around April 1st. Some pranks that people pull on people for April Fools are food pranks, mind game pranks, um, like moving things out of place, um, telling somebody you're breaking up with them when you're really not going to, which is really freaking mean. I've even had people, um, I've heard of people saying that they're pregnant when they're not. And that one's not really funny to me considering that I've lost babies before. So I think that one should be X'd out. Um, I think people should stop playing that one because there's people out here that have lost babies and miscarried and, you know, um, hope to become pregnant one day. So that's just my opinion, but... And then, um, so other pranks are scaring someone, like hiding in a spot and popping out, lying to them, or prank phone calls. Um, historians have linked April Fools to festivals such as Hilaria, Latin for joy, which celebrated in ancient Rome at the end of March. April Fool's Day spread throughout Britain during 18th century and Scotland. The tradition became a two-day event, starting with hunting the gawk, in which um, people were sent phony errands, um, and they had signs that were pinned on them saying, Kick me. Um, April Fool's in modern times, people have gone to great lengths to celebrate April Fool's Day hoax on newspapers, radios, TV and websites have participated in April tradition and reporting fake news. People were slow to get the news or failed to realize that the start of the new year had to um, was January 1st and continued through April 1st became the butt of jokes and the hoax were called April Fools. Um, these pranks included um, hoovering paper fish placed on their backs and being referred to as the Pison Devial. I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, in parentheses, April fish. Said to symbolize a young, easy caught fish and a gullible person. In 1957, the BBC reported that Swiss farmers were um, experiencing a record of spaghetti crops showed footage of people harvesting noodles from trees. In 1985, Sports Illustrated, George Pimpton tricked readers when um, he made up an article about a rookie pitcher named Sid Finch who could um, throw a fastball over 168 miles per hour. An annual custom on first a April 1st consists of practical jokes. Host jokesters often expose their actions by yelling April Fools, which I said that part already, but it was a part of what I found on the web. So, um, what I think uh, about April Fools is I love it. I We all should continue the tradition. I think there's some things like the pregnancy thing that we should leave out. That's just my opinion. I do have something to say about the Will Smith and um, Chris um, such slapping situation. Um, in my opinion, I think that might be a April Fool's joke to everybody. Now, um, 
like I said, that's in my opinion because I don't need to get sued or anything like that for um, naming them. Also, uh, if it isn't, if it wasn't real, I would feel really bad. Um, or if it was real, I would feel really bad because I've heard, also heard all over social media, I'll just put it that way, that um, Will Smith's wife has a hair, con hair loss condition. So if, if it is real, I would feel really, I feel really bad and horrible, but something has me thinking just because that happened so close to April Fool's Day that has me thinking a theory, what if that was an April Fool's joke? I don't know. Just me. I don't know if anyone else has thought of that, but so that's a little bit about April's, April Fool's. I'm about, I'm, I'm thinking about different little things that I could prank my husband and my kids with, but I'm not sure yet. And, uh, obviously I'm not really going to talk about it a whole lot because if I do, then my husband will be prepared for me to trick him on April Fool's on April 1st. So, which isn't too far, far away from today. Um, cause let's see what today is. My gosh, it's March 29th. So, but okay, you guys, um, that's all I have to say, and I will be on with another life topic. Thank you.